Look at this guy. Dude. You couldn't wait? Guys, I'm just very much um, continuing from where I left off Monday. Today is Tuesday. I have no luck delivering the load early because I got a call from JB and Rep stating that it's strictly appointment. However, I'm gonna try to make it before his appointment tomorrow. I'm gonna be there around 9 a.m. instead of noon so I can get it off my truck earlier. That will give me time to try to get another load on my trailer. So I got six more hours to drive to the destination. So I'm gonna do that today, get in South Carolina by today and stop maybe at a truck stop over there. My patch steer tire on the passenger side is holding up pretty good. I've been watching it. <laughs> you don't wanna take no risk with your um, steer tires because it's only one tire on each side. So we're back on the 81 heading south into South Carolina. I'm gonna hit North Carolina first, then South Carolina. I'm gonna go to, where am I going? I'm going to West Columbia, South Carolina, yeah. So right around the Charlotte area, there. That's where I'm heading. It's a beautiful day. It's nice outside. I'm wearing a t-shirt right now. That's the beautiful thing about the south. When the northeast is cold and you come to the southeast, it's still beautiful. As you're seeing right now. Beautiful, beautiful weather. So I just ate that um, chicken sandwich. I had two, but I just ate one and my belly is already turning. Oh gosh. That's not good. Hopefully it's not the bubble guts. Cause that's pretty suck if you're out there driving and you have the bubble guts. Oh, I can't shift right now. I'm trying to go to nine. driving in my flip-flops I've taken my shoes off because it's not warm but I when when I'm in the truck I tend to take off my shoes when it's warm outside and then when I get outside I put my, I put my shoes on so I'm just building up enough speed to go up this hill Put all the way down slightly. I'm gonna climb this hill. Come on, get up there, lettuce. Get up there, lettuce. 
this get up she's dwindling down dwindling down but we're coming up to the top of the hill it gets steeper as it comes up as it gets closer to the top of the hill Get her right, she's good. It's a nice gun buried you. If there's a Walmart close by, I need some grocery in the truck. So this is it for tonight. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna continue. Uh, probably be because I'm no. Let's see how far I'm from the delivery. I'm only one hour from the delivery, so that's not bad. So I'll probably be there by 9 a.m. tomorrow. Try to get it off my truck three hours before its appointment. But this is it for Tuesday. We'll continue tomorrow. So please like, share, and subscribe to all of that good stuff. And we continue the journey tomorrow. Whoa.
Whoa. All right, guys, so let's check out this satellite imagery at the receiver. So 410 Foster Brothers Drive, West Columbia. Yeah, that's where I'm going. So what I'm pulling up now is just to have an idea how big their lot is. If it's okay, straightforward. Straightforward. So this is the place here where I'm going. And chucks are right here. So it looks straightforward. But it doesn't look like it's a lot of because this is the entrance right here. So if this is the entrance right here, then is it gonna be a blind side? I don't know. Yeah. Cause they I don't know if that's a lot of they probably have room to do a turnaround in there in their lot. But this is definitely the entrance. I'm here in Richburg, South Carolina. I'm just one hour away from the delivery in West Columbia. So I'm just walking around my truck, make sure my lights are operational. All right. Seal is still intact, so nobody tamper with the load. need to change these rim they're really ugly and not only that the rust can go can cause the valve stem to slow leak so that's one of the other reason but yeah we're I got some fuel receipts that I have to add. So let's see how much fuel I got. I spent I spent seven hundred dollars on fuel to get down here. Now this is the end. So I'm gonna add my receipts and my ELD. Alright, so these are the ones that are outstanding. So I'm going to do that just now guys and then as soon as I'm ready to go, I'll tune back in. So make sure to like, share and subscribe to the video guys. Like and subscribe the video as you come in. You know, help me to grow this channel by showing your support. And we have staff coming in today to work.
time your appointment was? It was around 11, 11. but I'm trying to get in early, man. Oh, you know? Okay. Yeah. Well, when we got a duck ready for you, we'll come get you. All right, thank you, man. All right, All right guys, so that's a good sign. At least he haven't told me to come back around the appointment time. So I'm just gonna wait here until he call me. So I can go ahead and start looking on the low board. See what's happening. So they're paying 17 on this Florida load, but should be around 24, 25. Yeah, that's right around Tampa, so put a bit for 24. So I just got assigned the door. Doc 13, he said, put my paperwork inside the trailer and the seal. Chalk your wheels. So Doc 13 is right there, okay. All right, I'm gonna just do a U-turn. There's a truck behind me, so pull over here so you can pass. While I try to do this new turn, how is it going? Well, I guess I guess he's going in one of these. Things. So, guys, I have a thick seal on the back, like so. I'm gonna need something to cut it. Maybe my little players here. I can try to cut it with that. So this is 13 right here. Let's see if my little players can cut that. Uh, oh, vice grip won't work. Let's see if my players here will be able to cut. Thank you. Okay, no All right, thanks to that guy, I just got a, a big pliers to break that seal, guys. Yeah, put it in the back there. And put the seal on top okay. of it. Okay. Do you want me to take the strap off or? All right. Well, I, I don't. I'm another driver, but. Yeah, I don't know. I probably yeah. would. Yeah, I take the. All right. I'm gonna put this, this on top of your paper, though. All right, cool. Yeah. Well, we got the paperwork ready. Oh, uh, this paperwork. He wants this. Uh, this blue truck here going in. So he's waiting for me. I want the bills right there. Take the strap off. Take the tension off the strap. Woohoo! How am I gonna get to that? Can't get to that one. So I'm just gonna... Shh. 
shine it up. Since I can't get to it, just stretch it out and hang it up here. So it's now you know, 11, they didn't take me until it's close to my appointment. <laughs> they made me wait. Because there's other trucks coming in at their appointments, you know, which is fair, fair enough. Look at this guy. You couldn't wait? This is why it's good to always check your blind side. You just never know. And he's telling me I can go. This guy creep up behind me. He just can't wait, man. He was behind me in the line. He just couldn't wait. You would think, as a truck driver, you should understand the language. But no, man, some of these truck drivers are like four wheelers. They're in a rush. I'm gonna pull forward a little. Show me off. Way off, guys. I'm way off, boy. I'm gonna work it in there. Work it in there. Way off, so I'm just gonna use the space. All right, so he he chewed me off a little. No worries, I'm gonna fix it. Get over to the right, over here, some more. All right, get over some more, then cut it over. What happened to me today? Is the chalk, is it the chalk that is in the way? No, I need to straighten it out. Need to straighten it out. Here we go. See this side now. Yeah. All right, we're in there. 
set my brake and go outside to chart the wheel. It's now 1 p.m. guys and just got unloaded. I got my bills just now. The guy walked it out to me. So I'm still here trying to find a load. Not much happening. But this is where I'm gonna close out the video folks. Um This is where I'm gonna close out the video for today. So guys, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If it's your first time here, consider subscribing to the channel. But until then guys, I'm out. Peace.